Hey everyone, it's Vinny here, your community outreach specialist, and today I'm bringing you Corporal Rusina, who you may know from a prior video, and this entire new member orientation class. There we go. And we are going to be following along with them for the next eight weeks to show you guys what they do from start to finish until the FTO process and all that it takes. So it's kind of like... I don't know, it's like a TV show where we're following, but we're not gonna follow too heavily, but we hope that everyone makes it all the way through because I have support for all of you. I have yeah, faith in all of you, so. So yeah, you're gonna be following us along for eight weeks for law enforcement and four weeks for, our, for four of our detention members back there. Who are over there somewhere. There they are. Yes, you guys excited? Oh yeah. yeah there we go. <laughs> Stay tuned to see what we can get into. Hey everyone, okay, so I am with Deputy Trainee Hickson, who's on his first day of the new member orientation, and we're just gonna talk to Deputy Trainee DT Hickson. DT Hickson, how do you feel? How are you feeling? Right I now? feel excited right yeah. now. Yeah, uh, are you nervous? Just a little bit more like okay. an excited nervousness, okay. but. Butterflies, like anxious. I'm very anxious though, yeah. I'm very anxious to start. There's, a, okay, so I mean, but you have, your story's a little bit, I like your story. So tell our followers, first of all, say hi, because I forgot to do that. Hello everyone, yeah. my name's uh, Jeremy Hickson. Uh, I was actually with the Pasco Sheriff's Office Explorer program. I love it. So it's a pretty much a program that allows mm -hmm. teenagers between 14 and 21 to get exposure to law enforcement. Mm -hmm. We met once a week and deputies came out to teach us how to do traffic stops, report writing, mm -hmm. handcuffing, and everything like that. So, How long were you in the Explorer program? Five years. Oh, okay. So yeah. with that, I was able to do a lot of ride-alongs mm -hmm. and see if this is the career that I wanted to pursue, and I loved Here it. Here we are today. I yep. love that. Okay, so the Explorer program is absolutely incredible. We also do have a Junior Explorers program now, which is also for middle schoolers, yep. too. So that's really... So did you start in middle school? Five years? No. What did you start? I st High school, ninth High school. grade. Okay, yep. okay. That's really cool. Okay, so what are you thinking that new member orientation is going to be like? What are your thoughts going into it? I think it's going to be like a mini academy. I mean, we okay. before getting this job, you have to go through a certified police academy, which mm -hmm. lasts six months, mm -hmm. and you pretty much get taught the fundamentals of law enforcement, uh, case law, Florida statutes, things like that. What? So I think it's going to be kind of like that, except mm -hmm. more agency-driven, like okay. agency directives. What we are looking for yeah. in our men and women. Okay. Yep. We're men this time around because there <laughs> yeah. are actually no women in this class. But that's okay. Next round, females come out, support. But that's okay. So kudos. So, I mean, you guys, like I said, we will be following along with this class from start to finish. And we'll see DT Hickson very soon. Sounds good. Okay, everyone, so I am with Deputy Trainee Martinez. Say hello to our followers. Hello. Boom, so he is going to talk to us a little bit about how he's feeling today, the first day of new member orientation, and actually how he came over and got to PSO. So tell our followers, uh, what's your story? 
I'm actually very excited and happy to be here. I love it. I learned about the sheriff's office here in Pasco through a friend that I used to know in the military. Okay. Uh, cool. He told me all about it. He told me there's a better agency than... That were incredible, basically. Yes. To come uh, over with us. Mm -hmm. All that. <laughs> So I figured I'd give it another chance mm -hmm. after, since I was already, I completed the academy with Hillsborough Sheriff's Office mm -hmm. and, um, and I left on good terms. Mm -hmm. I pretty much resigned after they gave me the option. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually went through phase three of FTO. Oh, okay. And I, I was at that. the, right before I was about to let, to go on the street on mm -hmm. my own to do the job. They, were cons they had a few concerns and they mm -hmm. asked me if I wanted to uh, resign, I could, and I said yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, I, I was part of SOP 45, Special uh, Office Training 45, that's with H really cool. HCSO. And that's that's like a boot camp that you do yes. prior to going to the academy. We don't have that here, but every agency yes. is different. Before mm -hmm. the academy, they have a two-week training mm -hmm. that, that you, yeah, you stay with them except for Saturday, uh, Friday and Saturday night. Oh, it's overnight, okay. So you stay Intense. overnight and they wake you up early in the morning and you work and do everything all the way through the evening. Jeez. At whole two weeks, kind of like Marine Corps boot camp. I was like, it literally sounds like as if yes. you're enlisting it's, and it's, it's like a boot camp like that. It's pretty close to the okay. military boot camp. Uh, but that's, that's only two weeks mm -hmm. and it's very fun. You get to work out and you get to shoot. You get, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit of training, mm -hmm. team building, kind of like we're okay. doing here okay. uh, in the first but week. But HCSO is no PSO. Just no, not at, all. <laughs> not at all. Just saying. Okay. So after all of that, you decided that you would come with PSO because your friend had talked about yes, us. Yes, I had a buddy that told me it's going to be completely different. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I felt like uh, he sold me on the... Uh, that how everybody works together and they take okay. care of each other a lot more We're a family. than anything else. Okay. So and that's what I th what I was looking forward to working mm -hmm. with is a family culture where everybody mm -hmm. takes care of each other and you know and that's I, awesome. I just want to be able to work in a happy environment. Exactly. Not you know dislike what you're coming to do and yeah. the support and those around you plays a large part into that. Yeah, but kudos to you. Thank you for coming and joining us. Thank you for talking to us. Okay. And we'll be seeing more of Deputy Trainee Martinez over the next eight weeks. Sounds yeah. Good. All, right. All right. Okay, everyone. So that kind of wraps up the first day. It's just a lot of paperwork that they're doing. But I hope you guys like this kind of series that I'm trying to do within the YouTube channel. It's I'm trying to model it off of a TV show that we saw with the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders where basically they're followed from start to finish. Um, so that's what we're going to do with these guys and hopefully you enjoy it all and you learn a lot more and you're exposed to a lot more of what they go through. So stay tuned and let's see what we can get into in the next eight weeks.